No, I'll just go look in on your office. Be sure you don't wake him. In ten years, have I ever awakened the boy? Well, I'll assemble the staff so you can say goodbye. Well, for God's sake, Neville, can't you just let me slip away? I'm sorry. Tell them. Tell them whatever you always tell them. I'll return. 
every day, rain or shine if you want. All that God needs is for us to come and wake it up. But, Chicken, what if we save the God? And Uncle Ashley takes him back, or pull it once in. Aye, what a miracle that would be. Can the poor crippled boy see his mother's God?
together, I ran out into the storm and found a door. And now Dickon and I are working on it every day. And you can come too. And what does it look like? <laughs> well, right now, there's a tangle of vines over everything because no one's been taking care of it for a while, you see. But Dickon says if we clear away all the dead wood, there'll be fountains and roses by summer. I haven't wanted to see anything like I want to see this garden. You must see it. Only they must never know. Or Ben says that Dr. Craven will send me away. No, Mary. <coughs> Maybe Willie can take you outside in your wheelchair. And then, when nobody's looking, Dickie can wheel you through the maze and into the garden. I can't, Mary. I'll take a chill if I go. I'll get even worse. No, you won't. You'll get better. I can't, Mary. I'm afraid. <coughs> I've been in this bed for so long. And I don't want to die. Just one black snake in this girl. I'm afraid there's no one left. Sorry, miss. I, I really want to see this garden. Really, I do, but I can't. Well, we'll just keep on until you're ready to see it. And whenever that is, you just tell me, and I'll get William to. You must come back tomorrow afternoon, when you're through and you have supper with me, till everything is done. I like that. Good night, then. Good night, Mary. I'm likely to accept up to the scullery for this. 
see where I'm going? How am I supposed to see what it is when I get there? I can't say. Perhaps it's only something you to hear. But all I can hear is me on self talking. Shh, don't have to this bit still. <laughs> Come back. 
for so long, making people think you're crippled. Who says where I'm going to go? And he's 
They're so wonderful. I hate you. You're a horrible, ugly pig. That's quite enough, young lady. Your school is a filthy rat hole full of brats and dirty beds. And all anybody ever really does there is scrub floors. I hate you. And, well, if I'm sitting talk with you, I'm going to bite your arm off and you're going to die. I hope you get hit by a lorry on the way home. And your ugly head rolls off into a ditch and gets eaten by maggots. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Get out of here. Go away. Go away. Go away. We have had one or two cases this severe. Very nice. <laughs>